Today I want to do a little something different and take you guys through how I plan for a brand shoot. So this is a little different plan with me, but I thought it would be interesting if you have your own brand out there, you're planning a photo shoot. I've had experience doing this not only with my current brand um, from the Kickstarter, everything that we had to do for that photo shoot, as well as my previous brand, Conscious Life Shop. So I thought I would show you guys how I plan it all, I'll show you the strategies that I use so it might be helpful for you or if you just find it interesting. So let's jump right in. I'm going to take you on my computer so you can plan with me. So I'm going to show you guys my content binder planner first. The first thing that I do is review my brand guide. Now I have versions of this on my laptop but I also have it in my content planner. So I'll give you guys a look into where I start from by first taking a look at the brand to make sure that everything that I do as I create the brand shoot, the as I plan the brand photo shoot, is aligned with the brand and stays on brand. Okay so this is editing Tiffany. I'm in my bed editing and I can't find the clip of where I showed you guys my brand guide but this is the binder I used for content planning and I keep my brand guide in here as well so let's turn to that so I can show you guys this is my brand board for mod ambition so this is what I refer to when planning photo shoots it has different sections for different aesthetics for the brand as well as the colors the fonts um, the pillars, the tone of voice, all those things. And then I have the pillars laid out here as well as the complete brand guide. So I refer to all of this. It has all of the stories, the brand voice, all of the, it's something that I created to make sure I stay on brand. Um, so largely for the visuals, um, this is my personal brand uh, board, but for my ambition, where did it go? This is what I refer to. So you can see uh, the aesthetics that are inspiring the brand, like editorial work vibes, those kinds of things. Okay, let's jump back into the actual clips for this video. Okay, for time's sake, I'm going to show you guys the one that I did for last year um, because I'm basically going to be recreating the same thing. So I open up basically a Google Sheets and create a storyboard. So let me show you those first. So for each shot that I want to do, basically the different scenes, I create a mood board so I know what I'm going for. So this was, it will be the first scene because again, I'm recreating what I did with the last shoot. I really like those pictures, but the planner has changed a little bit, but I'm gonna be doing essentially the same thing. So I'm basically going to copy this whole shoot planning board and just kind of tweak it for the changes that I want to do. So this is the first thing I do. So that's the first scene. I also wanted to do a flat lay with like maps um, to kind of delineate that the planner helps you go on a journey. And then the last scene that I did is this editorial scene, just kind of very basic with some flowers. Um, flat lays and videos and this was the last scene that I did with the model we created kind of like an all white um, set office set and the planner to kind of really give the vibe of an ambitious woman working so those were the four shoots um, oh and then I actually had his fifth scene with me as the founder and this was the vibe that I did this was a separate photo shoot so this was a cumulative I think three different days of shooting that I did all these different scenes. So five scenes. Okay. So once you have your storyboard, you're going to do basically the, the call sheet. So you're basically going to do preparation for what the pictures will be used for. I'll be changing this to what they'll be used for now since the Kickstarter is over. Specific shots needed. This is really helpful for me, especially since I am shooting uh, for the for the photo shoots that I am shooting the the photos, I like to lay out exactly what I will be needing for the shots as a whole, 
And then for each scene, I lay out a shot list. So I can refer to this and really go back and forth and know I'm not forgetting anything instead of walking less aimlessly and just trying to get the best shot. I really have a plan for what I need for each scene. So I come up with a shot list for photos as well as for video. And I do this for each scene as you can see here. Oh, this is another scene that I actually did where I was kind of inspired by this creator, forget her name, but she's really popular with her bags. Um, and actually that video didn't do so well as some of the other ones, um, but it was good, good to do. Then I also like to come up with a preparation list of all the accessories and clothing I'm going to need. So for each scene, you can see I put what I'll needing. That way when it's time to do the shoot, I can just grab and go what I'm going to need um, instead of feeling unprepared. And then I just put a list of things that I want to remember uh, to take with me or to remember to do. And I can just refer to this before I leave my house if I'm shooting off not here or before I shoot. Then I just print this entire thing. That way I can have it, especially the mood boards and the shot list. So it's just really easy when we're actually um, working. So then there are some other things that I do that are informed by the brand guide that I showed you guys earlier. So one of those things that I do are really get a good idea of the brand stories that I want to tell in the photo. So for Mod Ambition, it's really about going from overwhelm to peace of mind. So in the model photos, I really want to try to find a way to convey those either with the pictures of me with it or with the model that I'm using, incorporating that or in just the imagery of the product in and of itself of like containment and peace because that is the vibe, the feeling that I want people to have after using the planner. Another theme that I like to think about for the brand to make sure it's conveyed and the pictures that I'm taking is elevated editorial monochrome vibe. So I, if you think about the, the brand board that I showed to you, that's kind of the theme of it. It's like elevated editorial monochrome office like pictures. There's nothing like cutesy about it. It's really a clean line, um, sophisticated, I like to think vibe. So incorporating that as a brand story. I also want to convey in the pictures that I take of myself as like the founder pictures about us, who started this planner. My story is really all about an ambitious founder, mompreneur, and really getting that across. I may do some pictures with my daughter, kind of with my laptop to convey that, just to be able to tell a story with the imagery. So I'm planning for that as well. So I guess my tip for you is to really think about what are the st stories your brand is telling and how can you convey that into pictures. Some other important key pictures that I want to get are for the podcast. So how can I take imagery that will be good to promote like on the pro podcast promo uh, post that we do, incorporating the planner, but also going to be useful for promoting the podcast. And then another tip I got from from Ashlyn Wright's channel. I will uh, put a link to her video as well because it's really good. But I got an idea from there as far as doing a personal brand shoot, but you can apply it to if you have a product or a personal brand, is this idea of including the mascots of your brand into the photo shoot. So what are those little emblems of your brand that you always speak about uh, and how can you convey those into your photo shoot? So for, for me, with the Mod Ambition Planner, I'm always talking about the journey. And so those little emblems of the maps and incorporating the journey so I can include those pictures either in my YouTube videos or in social media posts, having those mascots. Another, like for instance, on Dream Life Academy, it was always about the journey to the ocean. So I, I, I tried to incorporate pictures of that. Other emblems or mascots for Mod Ambition are moon and star goals. I talk about that a lot. So using having the planner with some sort of form of the moon and the stars is going to be helpful. So I'm planning for that. And then thinking about what can represent the overall arching idea of productivity. So things like timers, computers, laptops, all those little visual aspects that can help me tell the story of what the planner is trying to convey and those little mascots along the way, which I think is really helpful when you're thinking about planning a brand shoot. And that's really it for me. Planning a brand shoot is all about conveying the story 
of the brand into photos and obviously in an artistic and flattering light highlighting the product. If you're doing a personal brand, I would think about it in the same way. What are the stories that you're telling? What are the, the themes that you refer to a lot and how can you convey that in pictures and in video because we're in a world of video right now as well. If you have any specific questions about how I plan for this brand shoot, please let me know below. I'll be happy to answer those and maybe I'll do a vlog of the photo shoot so you can guys can see how everything turned out and until next time namaste